up guys how's it going so today's episode is gonna be very very different on um, my first video for the cookie plug you guys seen some cool stuff today i bumped into those people that actually do this stuff for a living and it's really fascinating um i'll show you guys a little bit of the process uh they didn't want me to yet record what they're doing because they want it to be finished which is respectable but I'll show you the process just a little tiny bit and I get they don't want to be on film I asked them and I also respect that hey no problem I just get what you guys are doing and check it out All right, guys, so they're almost, I believe, finished. Um, there is some people that are a little bit more aggressive than others, and these these guys are extremely chill. We're laughing, we're cracking up. I don't condone graffiti, but I mean, these are human beings just like myself, and this is what they like to do. Hey, definitely not against it because that's what makes them happy. And I always say, hey, find something that makes you happy. This is what, this is their happiness right here. So it's always cool seeing the whole process, seeing how <laughs> you know there's three guys in total one guy saying like hey no go higher go lower they have a vision right they have a vision for this um typography and they're getting it done out here so it's it's pretty cool i i wasn't planning on this but hey it's it's pretty cool So I do have my tricks to the trade for these boxes. I was not gonna bring <laughs> my actual tools that I carry in my truck every day because I actually brought everything I need to take these photos. Normally, I go to a place and I scout out different items that I could use to lift the boxes up. I got lucky today. I found spray cans and there's a ton of them today. <laughs> there you go, this is what I do. I put one at the bottom to lift the, the bottom part up and then I put this one right here to hold the lid so it won't fall back because whenever there's wind it tends to flap around and this one it only needs one because uh, the top lid is very strong so it's not flapping around and I only need one to hold it up so that's pretty much the trick that I, that I have under my sleeve for these boxes and there you go boom it's nearly impossible to get caught down here because nobody's patrolling this area and the highway is right up there and on this side too so if people come here they're coming here to do obviously some artwork out here and that's pretty much it you don't have cops rolling by you don't have uh, any off-roading patrol patrolies or anything like that so look at that Oh, let's go keep walking over here. This, this wall over here too. Uh, let's see. Over here. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole gallery. So if you want to bring your girlfriend out here, you know, during COVID, it, this is this is this is fun. Kind of not during the night though, because I'm sure at night it gets very dangerous. Probably a lot more people down here that are definitely no up to no good probably doing some drugs but during the daytime it's look at this it's completely empty it's 
It's a nice art gallery to walk through. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> I have a lot of room of creativity made by other people and definitely pieced together by myself. All right, so what was the goal for nice little artwork over here? Uh, mainly just to get our name out there, just get it out there, just to get it seen and stuff. Do you do this uh, like every day? Uh, try to do it whenever I can, as much as possible when I can. Uh, try to expand, try to go out to different spots. What made you get into this? Uh, just as a teenager growing up, just started drawing, getting into the art world and stuff, and just started getting into it from there. So there you guys have it. I asked him a few questions. He was a little hesitant to uh, answer them, but hey, I got him to say a couple things and you know, that's something that he likes to do in his spare time. And it was something that he did growing up and still enjoys doing. So it's crazy, you know, getting to know some of uh, people's mentality in a sense and understanding them and uh, going down to their level. That's like the most single important thing my parents have told me. Uh, my girlfriend has told me, you know, to come down to people's levels because you want to feel like they understand you and you understand them. Uh, and vice versa, you can carry on a conversation. And you know what, we were just laughing, I was just asking them some questions as a creative, in a creative standpoint, you know? Like I said, and I'm gonna keep saying, I don't condone doing these type of things on the streets or anywhere, but hey, you know, there's a time and a place sometimes and like this, they come out here, they hang out, they have fun. That's respectful, man. They're not out there killing people and doing all that stuff like Netflix series, like uh, my next neighbor <laughs> murder or something. So, you know, they're out here just having fun, doing some cool stuff. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one.